Today we've got a cigarette lighter charging port broken. Okay, so this bit here, this breaks very often um, on a lot of things, whether it's your phone charger. In this case, uh, my super duper fire inflator lead broken. So I had to just chop the ends off of the lead. Order this from Amazon. Um, it comes with its own connectors at the end. We're going to do it step by step. Just a quick change, that way I can save this. Don't have to throw it away. I can actually keep it, which is what I wanna do. Just because the end's broken doesn't mean you have to throw the device away. So we're gonna quickly do this. There's many ways of rewiring, or should we say uh, replacing the plug end or rewiring in general. The best way would be to solder it. Um, you would need to buy a soldering iron and the solder itself, and there's techniques of how to solder, which is the best way, and you insulate it. In my case, we're going to just do a quick cut the wires off, put these blades on, connector blades, and uh, get the thing back up and running. All right, so what do you need to do? The end that's got the broken cigarette lighter connector, you just chop it off and just have your two wires hanging out. Uh, what do you need? You need a, if you've got a pair of cutters, you've got one of these. Uh, pliers do have cutters in the, in the middle of it. My one's a bit grotty, but yeah, so that's all you need. You just Cut the wires off and then you strip it down so that you've got the metal ends coming out. What you need to do is twist it quickly so it's nice and smooth, ready for the connector to go on. So obviously you need two blades, you need a, you need the male and the female, obviously they go into each other and that locks it in place. And then strip the blades down, you literally you can get the pair of cutters and just slightly hold on to it. And go around. Just go around with the cutters. Don't cut it off completely. And then once you've made a bit of a cut, and you can just pull it. Got a nice little end on it, and then twist it. Same with a black one. Just get a little bit of an end. Not too much. I'd say about. Three or four millimeters then push it off so now you've got the two ends from the new plug ready it should already come ready but if it hasn't you just cut it off and make it then you've got your you've got your males and your females female terminal ends so just get these two ends and do them one at a time That's it, now that the wire's gone in, you need to crimp it. Crimping pliers would be great. If you don't have that, just get your normal pliers and hold on to it and push it really hard. And to be honest with you, I would even use the cutters a little bit just to give it that little bit more of a crimp. Don't do it too hard, you don't want to snap it. Then try and pull it apart. If it doesn't pull apart, that means you've done the job right. Same with this one, again. Put it inside, twist it in, that's in now. Get your pliers, crimp it, get the cutters, to just give it a little bit more of a clamping. Okay, try and pull it, doesn't pull apart, excellent. And then you've got your wires from here and just put it across let's have a look now so now you've got your males here these two same with these all right so again might be too long you might have to trim the end off if you need to just trim it off no problem it's very important that these are tight because you don't want it to come off we're going to clamp it the pliers because most people have pliers you might, you might not have wire clamping tools, so that's more technical. And some people do have cutters as well. But the cutters do come with the pliers anyway. In here you've got cutters and pliers, all in one. Again, second one. All right. Clamp it. Clamp it. 
And if you want to use the, you can use the pliers that's here, the, sorry, the cutters. You can clamp it with the cutters as well. See, look, there's a little line for the clamping. Nice. All right, so you try and pull it out. Doesn't come out, excellent. Now you've got the, um, your new plug. In my case, I've got the tire pump leads, my new cigarette lighter connector, and just plug it in. It doesn't matter which way around it goes, it works fine either way. Right now they've been pushed in. They're insulated by itself, which is all great. What I like to do again is to just tape it as well with some insulation tape so it just holds it nice and tight together. And that's it. Your cigarette light is brand new now. This one's got an LED light on there to say that it works, which my old one didn't have. But that's quite handy. But job done, fixed, and now I can use my tire pump again. Great.